review meeting is at 1.30 p.m. How many people yesterday in the waste store? We closed with a sale of more than 21,000 dirhams at Dubai yesterday, which was 3% higher than last week's sales. Why does it some technologies are influencing all parts of our daily life? In fact, Gartner predicts by 2020, 20% of all the web browsing will be done without a screen. All this is possible is because of adaptation of all authentic technology. Thank you, Sam, please. Guys, I was... Hello? 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 Hi everyone. Good round of applause. <laughs> Hello. My name is Saurabh and uh, I have recently started an AI company. We just saw how uh, uh, Mr. Singh explained the technology to you and I'm very sure you all have loved the entire technical part of the game. So uh, while we were talking with Aegis, Aegis uh, uh, recommended us that if we can show something which is more relatable to you and where uh, you can see what to do next. So how many of you are looking forward to know how to make millions of dollars using this NLP technology, a bit of pieces were there? Okay. And how many of you are in still interested? I can go for a technical track or I can share the journey. Which one you want to go? The first one or the technical journey one? Both. So I'll start with uh, one of my favorite, uh, telling a bit about how my journey was. And uh, we'll do a questionnaire in the end because I'm very sure you'll be intrigued with the technology and you will have more questions. So you, would, uh, you can just go ahead and ask how we have built it and how it is connecting. I'd love to take a step deep into explaining you the technology also. Is it okay? Great. So my name is Saurabh. I'm CEO and founder for Realbox. I'll uh, uh, go almost say 15 years back. Uh, that point in time I was working in a company, you might have heard about Microsoft. You heard about that? <laughs> so, and how many of you know .NET? All of you? Okay, so I uh, used to work there in that team and uh, I left uh, very quickly after spending a an year and I uh, got into a mission of building business dashboards. Basically, if somebody asked my favorite question, sir, how you visualize the data? So I have sold two companies just visualizing those data. And this is the third one. So I'll tell you and talk about a very basic problem, uh, what we realized in the market which is there. So a lot many times with the event of like uh, generation of this huge amount of data, businesses are looking forward, how do they visualize the data? That's a very big problem. So if you see how it evolved, earlier they used to have data in like Excel files, which was like a pretty small uh, amount of data. Then soon they moved on to SQL and other big databases where there are multi-million records. The rate at which this data was getting generated for the, for the businesses, it became very, very difficult to visualize them. And that is where they, uh, there are like a couple of companies which actually evolved. So let me fast uh, or say go back uh, 10 years ago. There is a company by the name Tableau which came in. Tableau currently is one of the biggest company in the world, close to worth $10 billion just by giving and showing charts to enterprise. And then there was another company uh, like uh, which is another Microsoft product called Power BI. So we realize uh, with this advent, where is it all going? Do you think that as an enterprise or a business user, if I show you a dashboard, you'll be able to make sense of it? If I just open a dashboard for to you and just show it like this is how the dashboard looks like. It's very, very difficult at the business level because things are still very technical. When you make those reports, those reports are made by analysts. So what is the business problem here? So business problem is the reports which were built by these analytics guys, right? It's very hard to decipher for the business guys, like a C-level business head, say HR. There are so many various departments, right? It became very interesting when 
the same dashboard or the same report has to be viewed by different levels of people in the same department. Like if you are a head HR, you are a senior HR, you are a normal, I don't know what is normal HR, but imagine there is such, <laughs> okay? And uh, there is somebody who's still trying to learn the tricks, you just joined HR. So what we realized, uh, since I built those BI companies, uh, I, was, uh, I was very, very surprised, despite my dashboards were very popular, but the usage of that dashboard was very, very less. Like in your whole college, there might be certain reports which your HOD, your teachers, and everybody would see. They might be very beautiful, but they don't see it very often, right? So as per Gartner, uh, very latest uh, study, and like uh, they are predicting, and they said that less than 8% of enterprise are able to view that particular piece of information. Do you know, uh, since I talked about like, how do we make millions of dollars while in our way of this technology? So what is the opportunity here? So in the world across, like in moving years, more and more data will be churned, right? And uh, they would like to view this data. Now with more data, the ability to create those visualizations manually will not run. Because you would have say two analysts, 10 analysts, but there are thousands of employees. Like at alone Microsoft when I joined, take a guess how many people used to work there? Any guess? So below 50,000, how many? Just raise your hand who thinks that uh, 15 years ago, Microsoft has less than 50,000 people working for them. More than 50,000? There were close to 100,000 people who used to work. So you can imagine with so many people working in any or kind of organization, data consumption uh, will become a very big challenge. The whole market is close to $100 billion market, the biggest market which is available right now. Because more and more, what is going to happen with this AI thing? What is, where, where is all jobs are going to go? I'm very sure in the earlier sessions you would have uh, learned more about AI and traditional, but can you tell me just one basic difference from your normal perspective as a programmer? Any, anyone? Very basic difference, if you say uh, something you have achieved using AI and or like say any kind of AI machine learning versus the traditional programming. I'll, I'll, give, you an, an, uh, I'll give you a simple example. Imagine you are a business developer who was hired by a business here nearby and you're building an inventory program, okay? Now at the inventory program, there are say thousands of items which are available over there. So normally what this business would like to do is, business would like to know that when should he order those items, right? So that he's able to continue, this, continue selling those items, correct? So he hires one of you from your college, one of the brightest, right? And uh, they say, okay, uh, when I have got, say, one particular item, say, kaju, khate hai log? <laughs> so say, let's say it is a kaju, and we say like, uh, kaju is a costly item, so you should not buy it very often, you should not stock it. There are some business rules he puts on. At the certain other place, you have got, say, chips, which he doesn't mind buying a lot. So what is happening, he is saying like, let me know early in the morning what should I order, right? And then you will write a small program, if this happens, then do this, if this happens. And uh, you will realize, because I as a kid when I joined and I was working on this program, I started with a couple of ifs and I deployed my program. Week after week, week after week, that 10, 20 line if has actually gone to thousands of lines of F. Today also, the scenarios have changed. Maybe Kaju is very cheap today. <laughs> so then you again go back and modify those things. So that is one way of programming. Make sense? What is the other way? What is the newer way of programming? Near way of programming is a set of people somewhere in the world, we're trying to build something. Can I just upload an Excel file which has got my sales data of these items somewhere. And without writing any if, can I ask 
how much kaju should i buy which one is more easier for you second one so the session before me and all the maths formulas which you saw you should go home and start learning because that is the only way to write the second kind of program and that is a basic difference so in future what is going to happen is when uh, when we are building the static dashboard i realized that can i build something which can help these enterprises to get this information much quickly right and uh, what do you say what if lot many times you would say ai yeah, when you ask anyone uh, how soon can i get this the report in an office it says sir mil jayega sir kal de denge parso de denge week four days three days two days and as soon as he leaves the room you say like inko lagta hai bas bola aur ho gaya correct so today i'm going to demo you a technology which is like uh, bola aur ho gaya <laughs> so uh, that is what we have been building and uh, uh, we created a lot of other voice related stuff why we are very popular so we work for companies like uh, google so you have heard google home you have seen google home full voice so we working with google in building some technology inside that google hardware so we are only one of those very few companies who got an opportunity to do that uh, we are working with companies which are fortune 50 and an average size of the company which we work is couple of billion dollars and what we were able to do was we were able to use their normal voice right when they say something we wrote a program which understand what they are saying and create a particular query accordingly i hope you all are familiar with databases uh, can i take an assumption great so what our program does it understand the question so there is an audio piece of it which is called asr which is uh, speech recognition once we understand what the speech has become like a text then we try and understand the intention of it what he actually wants to do and from there we are able to generate these queries for you in a very simpler format and now these queries go back bring us the data and then there is a new thing or probably an old thing it's called nlg have you heard about nlg anyone someone natural language generation i don't know if you are a student or not but i would have offered an internship <laughs> because we are really so she is absolutely right it's called natural language generation if you search for it companies like uh, google and all the big fives what they are trying to do they are trying to say and whenever you ask for an information it comes in form of data like when you ask about what is the weather today right you will see that there are four different days which will come it will say 23 degree it's going to rain and all they are saying can we put together an english paragraph for it so this is what at a at a very minimal level we as a company were able to do so if you see the whole cycle what happens is you ask a question we understand the question bring the data and summarize the data you have uh, you have used this application very popular in india called uh, in shots it does it summarizes news so we thought if we can put this data into an insight we call it real box insights so what it is doing is whatever data which you see on the on the in front of you it will be able to create an insight out of it so i'll show you a demo quickly okay so uh this is how a Take traditional uh, dashboard looks like i'm not sure if many people are able to read it but this is a dashboard for a hospital okay sorry it was a screen recording i got surprised what happened so this is how a dashboard looks like for a hospital okay if you see there is lot of chart and graph i am very very positive this is exactly how businesses who get this dashboard after 8 weeks from their it team think 
and this is how right now imagine your state of mind right now take it give it 10 seconds this is exactly how clueless everybody looks like now they try and start reading the first thing is uh, hello Okay. So uh, well, there are nine different data points here. The top three are talking about an average number of days you take, average time you take, how much money does it cost, right? And uh, then there are like say how much stay, there is a graph of it. It becomes very complex. Let me try and show you what we were able to do. Is there a voice here in the video? So what happens in the solution which we have built? You can go ahead and ask a question from a normal PC. What is as the summary for December 2017? Hmm. What is my summary for December? How many people here you have, uh, they use Mac? So I'm a little bit struggling because it's a Windows system, so you understand it, right? So, so what is going to happen is when you press that uh, red button there, so we use the microphone of your computer or a normal PC. It doesn't require any kind of extra hardware because uh, not everybody will have that access to hardware. It's a 100 to $200 hardware in a confined space. You cannot go ahead and set it up all the time. So this is what the solution looks like. When you press that button and you ask Here a question. Is what is my summary for December 2017? So what it is doing at the back is it understands what you are saying. Farms being the costliest treatment at $32,620 and the most cost effective one for surgical at $3,400 only. So uh, this is how the product looks like right now. Can you read? Uh, I'm not sure it is readable, but you get a gist of it, what we, have, uh, what we have built. So what we are able to do, you can ask at any given in point close to 100,000 plus different variation of the question which you want okay and what it does it it appropriately selects the things in the graph as we asked about the December 2017 it knew where that particular data point is it goes ahead and selects it automatically imagine all the data sheet like uh, and I'm very sure there are a lot of teachers here who have been dabbling with excel sheets and all imagine you drag drop an excel sheet and start asking questions straight away how many kids have uh, have attended class in last three months and came late in more than two class? Imagine a query like this. So we as a company were able to create an NLP engine which can understand these business level queries and execute these kind of systems over there. So that's it from my side, right? I'm open to questions. There are a lot of things, of course, we can talk, but with the limited time, I would like you to like I would like you to take this opportunity and ask anything in terms of setting up a company or raising funds. We are a funded company <laughs> or like uh, related to technology. So how complex? Uh, correct. So I'll, uh, this brings me to a very, very interesting uh, piece what we have built. So this is called so they have seen a lot of AI thing, right? When you're building a recommendation engine, you have to create your own recommendation engine, correct? If there is a crime channel, they will do a different kind of recommendation engine. If there is a fashion TV or a cosmopolitan magazine, they will do a different kind of. Now imagine your plea, how difficult it will be if all the enterprises around the world 
had to hire these pricey or data scientists and invest months and years of effort to actually build their own engine. Do you think it will be pricey? So what we created, we created a form of enterprise AI. There is an engine which is automatically, which is built, pre-built into the system. Whenever you bring your data source, so imagine you're bringing accounting data source, it reads the data source and create a very specific business grammar for you. NLP is more like grammar. So when you're saying Ram is a good boy and uh, Ram ganda ladka hai. <laughs> you can write both things in English, but uh, the grammar will ensure what these words mean. So what we have done is every enterprise which we work with, our automated uh, AI actually understands all the data points and different attributes and business use cases they would be using and get trained. And the question is trained at the base itself. So you can ask things like what's the performance of my particular month? What's the performance for my particular unit? What's the performance of my unit on this particular month where the payments have been in cash and the satisfaction rate for the uh, patients were below good? So you can do all of those combinations. So how, these, how we are able to do this very fluently? Because there is a separate grammar. Imagine a guy uh, who knows 50 languages. He will tend to get confused. As a person, you can still manage, but as a computer, you will get confused. So to ensure that you don't get confused with other enterprises' business grammar, uh, this kind of engine works really well. It takes less than four hours to set up. So if you're a brand new billion dollar company, once you show me your dashboard, this dashboard is pre-built. We are not into the business of dashboard. We are building only the right partner of the dashboard. So you can use any tool of your choice or any system which you already been using. Does that answer your question a bit? Okay, anybody in the back? Yes, sir. A sort of. A sort of. Correct. Uh, so, uh, very good question. So, the good part is, uh, so I started Realbox Data Analytics three years ago. And uh, I was, I created the experiences in forecasting for businesses as good as like PVR. So whenever you received a email offering you a complimentary Coke, that was me at the back. And uh, right now, if uh, any of you have taken any weight loss session from VLCC, you got an SMS. That <laughs> engine is done by us. So this is what we used to do. But uh, here is what the problem is. As the gentleman before me was explaining that every business is different, imagine you start a company and for every business, you have to go and write that code and train that code every time, every time. It's not a very scalable form of business. So what we realized that uh, what is our, uh, I'll introduce you one very good theory in life just immediately after this. So we uh, realized what is our alpha? Alpha means something you are really, really good at. If I started doing this forecasting, if you do a basic search, on Kaggle, on LinkedIn, or everywhere, you will find plenty of people who will be able to do it for you. What makes you think the companies like Tableau, they don't have a drag and drop? You drag a piece, drop it, and you'll get a forecasting. So we thought sooner or later these companies will develop it. Okay, so in the current system, it also has forecasting and built into it. For us, it is just about reading the data which is already there. So we focus on that part first not onto the forecasting pieces because we realize there are lot many people who have got an expertise and are better than us in doing it. And uh, from the business perspective also, not many business were valuing that forecasting. Uh, one, of our, uh, one of my very good friend, uh, he heads uh, SAP as a uh, AI evangelist. He tells a very good story. He tells, you go और पंडित जी से पूछते हैं कि बताओ मेरा फ्यूचर क्या है एंड पंडित जी बोलते हैं कि 
आप तो कल मरने वाले हैं तो सिर्फ दो चीज हो सकती है या तो आप मर जाएंगे <laughs> और अगर आप मर गए तो आई डोंट नो क्या होगा और दूसरा आप नहीं मरेंगे सो दिस इज आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ एवरीबडी अंडरस्टैंड द जोक हियर बट द आइडिया इज इफ यू टेक टू मच टाइम इन फिक्सिंग एंड गिविंग द राइट फोरकास्ट इट माइट बी वेरी लेट फॉर द बिजनेस दे माइट नॉट रिस्पेक्ट यू and if it is uh, not working for them then there is no point working and going on that path ultimately because see i am here to make money i am trying to build solution apart from being a technologist and if my customers they have uh, they are not showing very strong sentiments towards investing in ai in that way so we thought let us do something which is more if you see our solution what is the gratification brand new people sitting in a room has got nothing to do with the funny dashboard which is there you ask a question and you get an answer so that pushed us to work on our alpha side over there does that uh, helps you they have already done it so tableau business has tableau has made more than 5 billion dollars in past so many years that means there are so many companies who has invested 5 billion dollars correct so what is going to go to happen to do those dashboards i am giving a new lease of life to all those dashboards those dashboards were literally the uses of 8% if you as a company invest uh, say uh, imagine let's give it, let's take an example if a, if a business or if an educational institution like bvp invest in any kind of analytics or just visualization tool they are not going to do it today they would have already done it 5 years ago now today what is the benefit for them the benefit is can i add something and pimp up my dashboard so that is where uh, we focused more upon and that's was the business use case which we worked uh, and uh, not only on to this dashboard uh, if there are a lot of other videos which we have you can search for realbox.ai on go on youtube you can find a uh, lot of cool stuff which we also did with voice i'll show one of the videos just to amuse you what is possible so we created a video which can mimic a human voice and you will not be able to actually differentiate between that voice so i'll show that video in the last when i leave for that yeah any questions at the back yes sir uh, yeah sir uh, this power bi it works with uh, click we are still uh, trying to figure out things with them like uh, so what we are working upon as a business as a startup the first thing is the first rule who have do whatever your first 10 customer ask you to do so we met people who were more on tableau and power bi very recently we met one very very big uh, group in india who is on click so we are still uh, looking out options that uh, like just evaluating should we go ahead and do it or not but sooner or later it will be there okay so there is the uh, first of all there is no google home here okay no google assistant no google home no google assistant nothing no dependency on any of these things this is one more good cue for all the people who are here to start an enterprise business enterprises hate when you take their data out of the enterprise so whenever these kind of services which you see ai services and uh, you ask these enterprises to give or hand over their data to you it will be very difficult for you to grow especially we work with companies like banks so they don't want coming back to this thing this is there are two variations to it this is more like a embedded web page so they all give lot of apis where you can embed these dashboards anywhere you want so we just created a web page where the dashboard is there and on the right hand the page is there that is one Oh 
how it is coming. Okay. So what happens is we created an extension which you can drag and drop in these environments. Okay. Once you drag and drop this in, uh, extension into the environment, it automatically uh, it has an auto uh, sense technology. It reads all the data around it, all the data sources which are used in the dashboard, all the measured dimensions, and all the columns basically and values. From there, it automatically generates the grammar that what kind of questions can come. And it is already trained with the question. It just it's more like a fill in the blanks. So Yeah. Like an exchange. Correct. 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 There is no inst voice uh, it uses an inbuilt uh, voice recording system which most of the modern browser has so you can just record whatever you say and the uh, audio streaming of that voice is sent to our servers which is again picked by using an ASR which is a speech recognition ours one was very simple we picked a lot of open source ready-made engines which are available and we, s we went ahead and trained it for the enterprise that's the only difference and then it understand uh, from audio to text and from text to intent then intent to SQL then SQL to data and data to back and the beautiful text yes sir correct so there is a model so in the model you just pass in the text it will give you what you mean it's a just a function nlp i'm not sure uh, so machine learning and hello they give you a simple math function that's it not there is no magic behind it like there is no it's just very simple you pass in four parameters and you get the fifth parameter if you've got ten parameters you can pass in nine parameters and ask for the tenth one it is your choice which parameter it is now the only thing is left is how that fifth parameter is calculated so I charge hundred thousand dollar type to tell you that <laughs> that's the secret sauce which we have built but yeah so of course we can chat more about it and it's a widely written technology see see the smart thing what we did was we were able to orchestrate different pieces of technology from different walks of life so there is a technology which brings everything in real time that is as old as simple web sockets that's it yes sir which open browser I thought like uh, professionals before me sh have shown you a lot of open source architecture and tools available there and I think it's very obvious for you to be curious to ask. So uh, there are a lot of libraries in terms of one is very popular one which we have used is scikit-learn. You might have heard about it. It's a very simple basic uh, tool. And apart from then there are other open source libraries. I don't remember the name right away right now but uh, I'm sure it is there in the copyright section of ours we mentioned that thing or there so does uh, do you use scikit learn uh, so uh, you can try so if for any of you who would like to attempt building something like this it's super super easy and super super cool okay so what you need to do is you need to go and look out for Python NLP example code it will be hardly 10 20 lines some libraries run it once the only uh, thing is a lot of these codes are available and what makes it different is not the code itself not the logic itself uh, you heard that uh, mr. Singh share that he has been working on this for last 20 years correct it's not about the code itself but it is about the feature selection what exactly you select how you create your model the source is in the model it's like you have a uh, there are so many guys in the room have uh, how many guys here have cooked something in kitchen India is changing good news so uh, this is exactly how uh, these algorithms are 
imagine i put you in a kitchen which has got all the algorith algorithms of the world right as in gradients now it is up to you how you want to cook it because see the competition in the market everybody in this room and there are millions of people out there who are accessing this online courses right self paced learning learning about these new technologies what is the career challenge you are going to face if you come to me for an interview i'm very positive and i'm very very positive that you will be able to clear everything questions asked on these tools and algorithms but what is very important and what we look in a person is is he able to logically connect the flow to use what tool when and where that mathematics function has only four parameters and millions of combinations it's not a different my recommendation engine algorithm will not be very different than somebody else's okay so i have got a friend he just made a career and a company and lot of money out of recommendation so he wrote amazon's uh, not amazon's actually imdb's recommendation engine his name is uh, luckily sort of but it's a real guy so he uh, he built this company around in 2015 in 2016 uh, he got acquired by snapdeal over there to use that recommendation engine so don't uh, try and read about too many of technology okay i'll tell you what the problem it happens i'm very sure everybody has gone shopping right have you gone shopping okay how how many of you actually end up picking something from the first shop itself anyone okay good these are very efficient people i must say congratulations so this is how uh, ml is there ml is overwhelming for you at the first level when you see you have to figure out what you exactly want to do otherwise you can spend close to 100 plus years in it and is still we all will be new be in it so better for everyone who is actually trying to choose uh, this as a career like learn everything from the experts <laughs> right and then pick one thing okay so i'll ask a very simple question and let us see how many people are here are answering it logically logically is the hint what do you think my age is i'll give four people chance to say that what is my age Uh, okay so uh, unfortunately it's a uh, it's a uh, it's not a class so just raise your hand so that i'll validate it by the time it is wrong i'll giving more chances to people let us see how many chance a room full of people actually takes to guess an age of a person standing in front of them use the ai which you have all the okay and then you'll realize it is less about ai but the logic how you arrive to it that's the whole point of this exercise uh somebody said 35 you said right 37 somebody said 35 to 35 37 what's your name sir asadullah okay very good try what's your name sir ashish super good try third one yes sir 28 amazing i am overwhelmed <laughs> three chances fourth ma'am 35 uh one big mistake never do the same mistake again 35 was said third is gone i'll not count it as chance yes ma'am 43 i am again very very overwhelmed <laughs> but for the, all the wrong reasons uh yes sir okay another big mistake second 28 was already said done 31 wrong uh who said 30 what's your name sir stand up sir 30 i'll wait here and give it a pause and all the people who are who have spent i'm so surprised you all have spent so many hours on of this beautiful day called artificial intelligence day and there is lot of people have invested their hardcore time i came all the way from noida just to tell you all this thing 
so you need to use your time and my time very very cautiously you are wrong one more try yes 36 one more wrong okay i'll end this exercise so for all of you uh, let us try and do this in a logical way okay if imagine i uh, we both are playing a game and uh, i am going to offer a million dollar right now okay to answer my age imagine i would say that i was lying and my answer was already called okay for a moment and if i promise you to give a million dollar and then you attempt it who would like to attempt it one more time someone at the yes ma'am one more thing before you attempt it so it's a million dollar question i would like to know before you attempt it what are the logical things which you are thinking about me right away right now in the right sense of course <laughs> and come up with my age so that everybody can understand how you are prepared logically to go for an ai course as the gentleman said if you go in an entry ng course <laughs> you will go mad in the first few hours it is so complex so if you are not logically thinking it's not going to work for you yes ma'am first logic for the excellent one point what is my age by the way 40 okay theek hai 15 years ago valid okay see i'm uh, are you a student here what year second okay uh, still we have to wait uh, my email address is saurabh@realbox.ai a very simple logic has cracked my age and i give this logical hint every time i go in these sessions uh, so i am going to be 40 uh, in few more months congratulations that million dollar is the is the promise which you have in you and uh, which i'm very positive that you were going to like you are going to make it because of the way you think i'll tell you a very simple story since i've got just 4 minutes and i was born on 4th august so it's a cool lucky time just a very short story so i'm a guy i run away from my home you know when i was like uh, just to pursue my dream of programming and uh, the first time i failed was in class 7th and the uh, fail matlab normal fail fail matlab phir se padhne wala fail <laughs> so i had to go back and study back again then i failed again in 9th uh, but my school was very kind it was a catholic school no bola jaldi se pass karo jaldi se bahar ja jaan tension khatam i passed i was like out of 47 48 people i if i am lucky then i would get 45 rank okay but then when i failed and all i defined and i decided to give some direction to my life and created a logical flow of my career over there and i decided that i want to do a business you know why i picked a software business to do any guesses huh you know Uh, maybe i enjoyed it i think at least uh, so he is right i enjoyed it i thought like uh, people would think ki, like ab iske question ka koi answer nahi karega it's just embarrassing <laughs> but yeah right i uh, what i what i liked in software is if you can build a software which can be a copy and paste you have got all your life to paste every time you paste it will give you at least say $1000 and that is a very exciting news for everybody who's trying to pursue career in AI and technology or in any of the programming languages okay so you have an ability more you learn 
and you know what your wealth will be your wealth will be your logical way like the lady showcased just now your logical way to answer these questions over there and this is not going to only pave a very good career path but this is also going to shorten the total time you will take to be successful okay uh, and this was uh, sort of pudi for you you can search uh, i am available on linkedin happy to connect and uh, help you guys out with that and that's it from my side guys today thank you